This video will look at placing holds in the staff catalog in Sitka's Evergreen. There are four levels of holds in Evergreen. Meta record holds should be used when the patron wants the first available copy of a particular title but doesn't have a preference for the format. For example, the patron would like either the book or the audiobook. Title holds should be used when the patron wants the first available copy of a particular title attached to a single mark record. Call number holds should be used when the patron wants the first available copy of a specific volume of a title. For example, the patron may want a particular issue of a magazine. Item holds should be used when staff need a particular physical item. For example, staff may need to change the spine label on an item. Holds can be placed via the public catalog, the catalog in the staff client, and the holds tab on the patron account. This video will demonstrate placing holds through the catalog and the patron account in the staff client. The majority of holds placed are title holds. To place a title hold, click the Place Hold button to the right of the record on the search results list or on the record summary screen. Enter the patron's barcode and click Submit or search for the patron to find them. Edit the patron's pickup location and hold notification method as necessary. Libraries with multiple branches or participating in reciprocal borrowing can use the drop-down menu to select the location where the patron would like to pick up their item. In the staff client, the entire consortium is visible. In the public catalog, patrons only see those locations where policy allows them to directly request items to. Evergreen auto-fills the notification options based on the information in the patron's record and the defaults they have chosen. A patron must already have an email address recorded in their account for email to be an option. The phone and text message information can be edited on this screen and will override the information in the patron's record for this particular hold. Click Place Hold to place the hold. If the hold is successfully placed, a Hold Succeeded message will appear in the Hold Status column. You can now place another hold on the title for a different patron, or click Return to go back to your previous screen, either the record summary or the search results list. Using the Group Formats Editions checkbox when performing a search will group the results to display the available formats together. Clicking on the title will take you to a search results list which lists the group records individually. To place a meta record hold, on the initial search results list, click the Place Hold button to the right of the record. In the bottom section of the hold screen, you can select the desired formats and languages to fill the hold. Enter the patron's barcode and click Submit, or use the patron's search to find them. Edit the patron's pickup location and hold notification method as necessary. Click Place Holds to place the hold. The first item associated with the meta record that is checked in or captured will fill the hold. To place a call number hold, click the call number hold link in the holdable column on the item table tab. Enter the patron's barcode and click submit or use the patron search to find them. Edit the patron's pickup location and hold notification method as necessary. Click Place Hold to place the hold. To place an item hold, click the Item Hold link in the Holdable column on the Item Table tab beside the particular item you would like. The item hold link does not appear in the public catalog, and so only staff can place item holds. Support recommends not using item holds unless it's absolutely necessary to target a particular physical copy. Item holds should never be used when placing holds on items owned by other libraries. Enter the patron's barcode and click Submit, or use the patron search to find the patron. 
edit the patron's pickup location and hold notification method as necessary. Do not use the recall hold or force item hold options, as these are not used by Sitka at this time. Click Place Holds to place the hold. In the Patron's account, go to the Holds tab. Click Place Hold. The Staff Catalog will open. Search for the title you'd like to place the hold on. Click Place Hold. And the hold screen will open with the patron's information populated. Edit the patron's pickup location and hold notification method as necessary. Click Place Holds. If the hold is successfully placed, a hold succeeded message will appear in the hold status column. You can now click Return to go back to the search results, or click on the patron's name to return to the patron account. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.